This is a traditional seaside town. Not too small, not too big, with a working port that gives it an edge. One of the best things to happen here recently is the designation of the River Beach and Arts Quarter. Tucked into the elbow bend of the River Teen, it's a refreshing hub of innovation. Thomas Looney, the 19th century artist, lived right here and became famous for his marine paintings. John Keats, the poet, stayed and worked here in 1818. But this part of Tynmouth was looking tired, with no banks or bus stops to draw people in. Then, seven years ago, there was a sea change. Two redundant buildings standing close together were taken on, renovated and reintroduced as community resources. Timoth is a, a growing, vibrant art scene. Uh, we were fortunate enough to come across two buildings, both derelict, in the Ice Factory, which is now a, a fantastic 50-seater studio theatre, and also the building that is now the Targ Art Centre. And uh, it's all inclusive. It's non-partisan. We invite everybody in. We're working with however we can, collaborating with as many people as possible to make the uh, scene that we've got and improve upon it. And the future is looking bright. Innovation. Collaboration. Transition. The second building, once a garage, presented more challenges, but with a determined input, culture was hewn from the chaos. Tynmouth Arts Action Group, TARG as it's known, was born. An astonishing outburst of creativity followed and is still gaining impetus. TARG is um, a grassroots organisation. Um, poetry and music events and have lots of classes in both la in languages and philosophy. There are numerous uh, community events here, especially with the RNLI. We have ongoing art workshops and we are proud to host over 50 gallery exhibitions a year. project that focuses on well-being and care in the community. A sharing fellowship has now been nurtured. The Targals community actually really does support artists on all kinds of levels, from amateur to professional. It's fantastic because we can share good practice, we can share ideas about materials, information, exhibitions, we support each other, and so at any level, it's a real shot in the arm for anyone practicing the arts in this community. A major film was made here last summer, starring Colin Firth as the tragic yachtsman Donald Crowhurst. But best known, the band Muse that was spawned here in 1994. Their homecoming gig attracted 25,000 fans, and that may have been what kick-started an upturn. The gallery scene flourished. The established ones were joined by new galleries and attracting a wider audience.
creativity was gaining ground and the streets began to look more cared for. Tynmouth was Devon's first fair trade town. A sea sports centre catering for all ages has added greatly to the footfall on the river beach. Its eye-popping beauty is a stunning border for the art scene. Magical colour and light inspires creativity. The taste of the teen festival has helped highlight the large number of places to eat and drink here. The Arts Quarter shuns the mass-produced, and here the shops are unique, <laughs> quirky even. Business is stepping up. I felt the buzz of the Arts Quarter, so I moved my business to this side of the town. Monthly fairs for homespun crafts attract people to the stalls that gather around the latest feature, a mosaic rotunda. A community project has transformed an ugly container into a thing of beauty. Its unveiling was coupled with the official designation of the River Beach and Arts Quarter. Uh, welcome to you all. Um, thank you for coming this morning. It's my pleasure to, to be invited to open uh, <clears throat> the River Beach and Arts Quarter project. Michelle Greenwood Brown, who is responsible for this fabulous hey. project here. But we are very lucky to have her in Devon. And she has been responsible for the, the plaques that are on 10 separate business premises around this area. But they are wonderful, um, and if you look at the, the leaflet that's going around, uh, we should be very proud of what she's done. Every week now, the Tynmouth Post contains excellent coverage of the vibrant art scene. A once run-down part of Tynmouth has become an upbeat mecca for creativity. Look out, St Ives!